CME Group launched Micro E-Mini Futures Contracts. Discover how a smaller Micro E-Mini Futures Contract opens the world to greater trading possibilities. Welcome to Market Movers. I'm Jim Uriel with Scott Martin. Hi, Jim. Okay, an unbelievable amount of headline risk surrounding the China trade deal. Began on Sunday night. Um, big deal, little deal, no deal. Is this just posturing prior to the negotiations? Is this all going to go away? Uh, it goes away for a little while, and then it comes back or even worse. Uh, is it not? Listen, here's the thing that's going on. It's not a small deal. I mean, that's the problem, is that I believe there's you know, concerns on both sides uh, of ours and China that they want to get a good deal. They don't want to look like they got a bad deal. And there's a lot of in intricacies that need to be worked out in this deal. And that's why I believe it's taking so okay, long. From a trading perspective, do you think the volatility and the downside we've seen is us pricing in the deal falling apart? Is it completely discounted? I do. And I think another way to look at it is, is, the, is a deal priced into the ES. And that's what I think has really shown itself to be true this, this week is that I think a deal was priced in in this latest rally. And so when we've seen rumors of it falling apart, that's why the ES took it on the chin so hard. Now, before we dive into our trade discussion, I'd like to point out that these are examples, not recommendations or advice. When we price these out, the E-mini S&P was trading about 28, 65 to 70 area, but moving around quick. Yes, moving around a lot, Jim, at which point I think there's some interesting pricing mechanisms out there in the ES that you could possibly take advantage of if you're looking to put on some exposure, like the exposure I'm about to tell you about, my friend, which is an example of buying the week three, 2900, 2925 ES call spread for about nine ticks. Not a bad expression, I guess, right? A little expensive maybe for, sure. for my blood right now, given the fact that we do have a lot of volatility. So my friend, I'm gonna find a way to pay for that by selling the week three 2800 ES put for about 14 ticks, believe it or so not. Collecting a credit. So I am collecting a credit of five ticks or about 250 bucks, but having the risk of getting long at 2800, which if you look at your chart, that was kind of a, uh, a resistance slash support slash breakout area for the ES in, in recent months, where I believe that's a, a comfortable level that if things don't go my way in this expression, then I'm going to be long at 2800 on the and ES. And I think as long as you understand your risks of being long at 2800, I think it's a fine expression. I sold a strangle the other day. In areas of high volatility where the VIX was at 22, did you think of maybe selling in a closer input? Well, you wouldn't have got 14 ticks, but you might have gotten eight or nine ticks. Thought about it. And, and great, it would decay quicker. Great question. That's why you're so good at this. Stuff. Thank you. My 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 trade example expires uh, May seventeenth, right. by the way, and I believe that just given that where some of the deltas are and things like that, that was about the right time frame I wanted to put on using one of the week threes on that one. Okay. Now, here's my example, and I'm talking about using the micros now. The micros, which have traded 1.9 million contracts in the first Not four bad. days of the development. So they're highly liquid already, which is quite amazing to me. So an example buying the, and the reason I went with the, the, um, the micros is that I want to illustrate to people that in these kind of incredibly volatile markets, you can still participate without necessarily the same exposure of the big contract, which is a, you know is, is 10 times. 10 times, so you can get a little bit less on or so off I, if you like. So uh, my example is buying the E-mini micro at 2870 with a stop placed at 2840 below and a pro take profit at uh, 29.25. The top so, end of my call spread. Right, so, <laughs> so it risks 150 to make 275. But the beauty of the micros, if it starts going in your way too, that's when you can start monkey with it. Raise your stop, raise your take profit. And Add position. And again, it, it doesn't expire in the same sort of time frame as an option does, but it does expire sometime in the middle of June, but in which case you would just roll it if you want to stay with the position. Great example of the fact that the micros can give you that kind of layered in exposure, right? And, th and that's a similar thing we talked about last week on, on Market Movers which was if you have other longs, whatever they're in, in the NASDAQ, even in the S&P, if it's individual stocks, I think the micros are another way to help hedge out a lot of that exposure. Another thing that you have I did today alongside. too, I had some put flies on that gained too much delta on the downside, and I used some micros to hedge delta. Have you used them like that yet, or do you like it? No, I haven't, but I know how much you love your flies, Jim. So go on with your bad self. <laughs> I do. Thanks for joining us on Market Movers. I'm Jim Urio, where we are helping to make you a better trader.